to put an end to what it's seen as necessary violence in music and music videos. And now a top radio station is joining the fight against violence in music, as well as music that promotes negative messages towards women. Through a recent press conference, New York City radio station WBLS is hoping to start a trend in stopping this type of music. Several leaders inside and out of the radio community came together for a press conference recently under leading New York radio station WBLS. The station is taking a formal stand on stopping radio and TV airplay of negative music that's taking a toll on the community. What we're saying is that we are taking a hard look. We've set up a system to screen the music that comes to our radio stations so that music which is content, which in its content promotes violence and misogyny, that is the hate of women, is going to be screened out. Critics have singled out gangster rap as the reason for the negative outbreak, but the panel disagrees. I've got to say to you that we're not talking about gangster rap here. There's all kinds of stuff that's uh, it's in pop music, it's in rock music, it's everywhere now. It's, 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 an, it's an epidemic of, of bad news for our communities around the country. WBLS is also taking this stand with hopes that other stations will follow their lead to end this type of music. One lady refused to go to the back of the bus, and a year and a half later, everybody had the right to sit where they wanted on the bus. One major station will say today, enough is enough. If we followed up and make other stations do it, then the market is closed to those that want to insult women and do violent lyrics. That's how important this is. Certainly an interesting analogy from Reverend Al Sharpton. Hopefully the plan to put a stop to this music will be successful. But gangster rap and other music like it is not without its defenders. Snoop Doggy Dogg is a West Coast rapper whose music is considered gangster style, but the artist feels there is nothing wrong with his messages or others like his. These people are just scared of reality. I mean, because they can run over the CDs, they can ban this music, but it don't stop. Regardless, it don't stop. I mean, it's like everything that happens to me, God makes it happen. You know what I'm saying? It's on, it's on one of those bases with me. I mean, I look at it like it's a test. It's a day-by-day -day thing. God is making everything happen for me. The success, the, the, the negative that you hear about me, it's just something that I have to deal with. I have to prepare myself and just live day by day, and everything is going to happen for a reason. He's making it happen, and I have to live the life according to the way it's laid down by him, and I just do it the way I do it. This is the reality of, of, of me and my music. I mean, it's everyday life. You can't take that away from me. You can take me out the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto up out of me. It's just like that. Snoop Doggy Dogg's premier CD is called Doggy Style and has sold extremely well all over the country.